Howdy y'all, Bush51 doing Let's Play Legend of Zelda with George Mask. Alright, in the last part, we took care of Goat and freed the snowy place that was Snowhead and made it into springtime again. Uh, in this part, we're actually going to be doing a couple of side quests, um, including getting rid of other stuff and doing other stuff and stuff, yeah. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to head to... Back to Snowhead. Uh, we're actually going to be heading to Snowhead a couple more times throughout the game. Um... Like I mentioned in the last couple parts. Um, I just want to point out too, I really love... I really love falling off cliffs and dying! No, I really love um, this area at night. It, uh, I don't know, it just feels really like night to me because it's all quiet and you can hear like the birds chirping and stuff. Yeah, anyway. Uh, we're going to be heading back over to Snowhead. By going over all the these ramps like we did before. There's also going to be a lot of rolling in this part, just going to warn you guys now. Okay, and what in the world is this over in the top right-hand corner? This is actually the Koran we supposedly killed, which we didn't actually kill. Let's go see. No money! What in the world have I been doing this whole time? I can't remember a thing since I went out to look around Snowhead to figure out why spring wasn't coming. What am I doing sitting in a place like this? You don't even know! It looks like we climbed a whole way anyway. Anyway, what we're going to want to do here is... We're going to want to roll back to... There's that fairy, by the way, if anyone caught that. Um... That I was talking about before. We're gonna be able to head over back this way and up this ramp again. And since we got the 15 stray fairies, we should go get our reward from the great fairy that resides here. Ambience. Oh, wise young one, I'm the great fairy of wisdom. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I shall enhance your magic power. <laughs> this is very, very helpful, and personally I feel as though it's 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 super necessary, but it's not really, I guess. Um But we're gonna see that we're gonna need a lot of magic later on. And our magic power has been enhanced! We now have twice as much magic power. Thank goodness. Come see me whenever you are overcome by weirdness. Nah. Probably not. Alrighty, now that we've got that, what we're actually going to want to do is we're going to want to head back to... Um... Well, actually, what we're going to do is from here... Oh, also something else I thought was really cool, if you take a look right in front of me, right about here... Um, you'll notice that, uh... When you walk around... Um... You might see little drops of water because it's springtime and all the ice and snow is melting, even from Snowhead. But anyway, like I was saying before, what we're going to want to do is, actually, we're going to want to start time over. Not- Oh, I'm so used to having my- Ugh! So used to having my Ocarina's down seat. Alright, we're going to want to start time over. To start this next, uh, side quest here. Save and turn to the first day? Yes, please. The quickest way to the ocean is through the west gate. We're not going to the ocean quite yet. What we're going to do is, obviously, we're going to want to slow down time first by screwing up. Just so this is a little bit easier. Okay. And actually, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to end up um, doing the whole rupee trick thing. Or not trick, rather, but uh, information. I don't know what you want to call it. But uh, I'm going to be doing that really quick, and I'll be right back. So I'm going to cut it right here. Alrighty, now that we got what we need, um, actually what I did was I went and, uh, the delivery of buying myself some arrows. What we're gonna want to do is, we're gonna want to not speed up time, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to use our Song of Soaring to head back over to Snowhead. Now, what's gonna happen next, um, might be a little strange. Um, the heck? Alright, uh, let's try that again. Don't know why I didn't soar away. 
or anything. Maybe because I was standing in the doorway or something. I don't know. Alright, so we're going to want to go to Snowhead. As a matter of fact. Uh, <laughs> this might look familiar to uh, anyone who watched the last three episodes. Because it's kind of almost sort of going to be the same thing except like an abridged version. Alright, now that we're back at Snowhead, what's this? The blizzard's back? Why is that? Oh yeah, because we went back a day. What's this? Uh, you went back in time? There's another blizzard. Well, once again, you gotta do the whole, uh, Goron song thing. I just did it backwards, I think. Yep. I apologize for that, because it's, it's kind of hard to hear through my headset, because I don't use just a mic, I use, actually, like, use a headset. Uh, to record these, so it's it's a little bit difficult to hear through um, all of everything, so I can actually hear the TV because the recording is yeah a little bit slower than the, whatever. Not that anybody really cares, but a little bit something like that. While he's actually falling off the cliff, uh, I have a question for you guys. Um, does anyone else own any internet Nintendo things like Wii or DS, 3DS? particularly, because um, I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart 7 recently, and for some odd reason, I've just always been good at Mario Kart. I don't know why, I don't really go out of my way to, like, practice or anything, but it's just, like, one of those weird talents that I have. Um, and I was just wondering if anyone would be interested on in maybe joining a community or something? Just, like, I don't know, hanging out and playing games for a little while. I don't know, that's up to you guys, just something I thought I'd offer, um, if the opportunity ever arose. And I just... I can't- why- I don't even know why I kid myself. I don't even know. I don't even know why. Screw it. Alright, actually what I'm gonna do is, um, use this bottle here to get this fairy, just in case. I don't think I'll need it, but just in case. You never know. And I didn't mean to do that. That's what I put the bottle away. Alright. Once more with feeling! Actually, I think I'm just... Uh, actually, nah, it won't take that long. I was gonna say, I think I'm gonna cut when I get to the top of the thing, but it doesn't really matter. It won't take that long. So, whatever. You know what my favorite part of this Majora's Mask is? Punching, um... I almost said boulders, but punching snowballs. If that wasn't in this game, then it would just be a 0 out of 10 for me, instead of a billion out of 10. Alrighty. Any day now. Garonia, Link. He's almost just walked right off the edge by myself. I don't think I trust myself on this walkway ever. All right, now that we come inside, Snowhead Temple. Ye who hold my remains, return to the appointed place to face me. Something that's in Majora's Max that I'm pretty sure isn't in any other Zelda game. You can refight bosses to uh, set the conditions of whatever area they're in to whatever it used to be. So we're going to go to the lair of the temple's boss. What we have to do is we have to beat Goat again in order for this quest to work that we're about to do. Now, for this though, since you guys have already seen this, I am going to be cutting it, um, again. Like, uh, sorry for all the cuts, guys, but this is going to happen a lot in this episode because it's kind of time-consuming. Uh, so I'll be right back after I beat Goat. Alrighty, now that we've beaten Goat for a second time, uh, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna head over this way into this, um, oh, by the way, if you hear enemy music right now, uh, those bees are technically enemies over there by the butterflies. It's kind of stupid, but whatever, I mean, they deal damage and all that stuff. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in this building here, into the mountain smithy. And, ooh, go, oh, ooh, go, ooh, go, ooh, go. oh, a customer? Come on, fetch our customer some coffee quick-like. Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Alright, to restore your sword, it will cost you 100 rupees. It'll be red by sunrise. You have to let us hold on to the sword until then. Keep in mind that after you use your forged sword 100 times, it will lose its edge and it'll be back to its original sharpness. So, would you like your sword reforged for 100 rupees? You're gonna wanna do this. You're gonna see why later. Thanks for dropping in! Now then, I'm straight off to work! Come back tomorrow morning. Oh go, go, go! And then we leave. 
All right, so for right now we don't have our sword. Um, I'm mashing B right now, but and uh, nothing's happening. Uh, what we're gonna want to do though is turn into Goron Link, and we're gonna want to head over to back where the Gorons were, which I no, put that grass down. Put the step put the grass down. I'm trying to make you roll. Which I believe is this way, if I remember correctly. Let's check. Yeah. So we're gonna head over this way, back through here. And you'll notice that uh, the area looks significantly different since there's no more snow. Uh, everything's starting to melt, and down there is water. I'm um, pretty sure I mentioned this, but Gorons cannot swim. If you're a Goron Link and you fall into the water, you'll just, um, I think you'll lose like a quarter of a heart or something. Um, and you'll go back to the start of whatever the map is you're on. Alright, so now we're back in the Goron Village. Uh, we're gonna want to go over this way. Bounce across the walls and all that fun stuff. Oop, that bump in uh, you're gonna want to go over to this little alcove over here. Now, what's really stupid is you can't get up there as Goron Link, even though you need to be Goron Link to go down there and do all that stuff. So turn to Small Link, or regular Link rather, then turn back to Goron Link. And you can either roll, just roll or jump down here; it doesn't matter. Uh, you want to talk to this guy? This guy, uh, he's quite a large Goron. I'd say he's in a big Goron. I'm the Goron who sells the powder keg, the most famous product of all the Gorons. Want a powder keg? Powder keg explode with powerful blasts that are very dangerous. Until I have tested you to see if you can use them properly, I can't let you use them any on your own. Can you give it a try? You want to do this. If you can destroy the boulder that blocks the entrance to the Goron racetrack near here, then you can use the power keg I'm about to give you, then I'll prove you can carry them. Alright, long story short, we're going to need to carry this over to get to our next part of the quest. When the powder keg begins to tick in faster, it means that it's about to explode. Try to blow up the boulder block in the Goron entrance track racetrack powder keg exploding along the way. There's a sign near the racetrack, so keep an eye out for it. When you finish, come see me. Alright, long story short, we finished this uh, side quest here with um, this powder keg. And uh, we can use powder kegs from now on, and it opens a it accesses a new area that we need to get to. Uh, the fuse is kind of long. The fuse is actually pretty long. I've gotten it there uh, numerous times without it even close to exploding. Um, thing is, though, you can't carry it up slope, so you gotta throw it like I've been doing. Okay, so I'm gonna carry this now. Drop down this way and go up the rampy ramp. The rampy ramp did. Okay, just hop up there. Go on this way. Uh, like I said, you can tell how close it is to exploding by not only looking at the fuse, obviously, but by hearing it's clicking. Which I'm not entirely sure why it's doing that. Um, because I don't really see a ticking mechanism on the entire thing. I just see a Goron skull and crossbones. Uh, whatever. I'm not one to question the logic of Legend of Zelda by any means. Yeah, so you just want to carry it along this way. Obviously, you can't go down the water, so you actually got to walk down the path. So you'll go fast enough that I don't think you'll be hit by any wolfos if you just uh, stay true to your direction there by just pushing and never stopping. All right. So now what we want to do is when I would you're over here, uh, the sign is right up that way. So we're gonna want to throw up these uh, hills here. That's this rock and a tree. Tree, tree, tree. I'll throw this up here one more time, and we're just gonna want to put it right in front of this boulder here, so we're supposed to be exploding. And oh, yeah, it's a little kid. Let's see what he has to say. Ah, Darmy! Now that it's nice and warm out, I'm much, much better. Even if my daddy isn't right beside me, I won't be selfish and cry. So now that spring has come, the Goron races should be starting soon. But, but this rock is in the way, so I can't get to see the race. And spring's just started too. I was so excited, but there's nothing I can do. I hate it! I hate it! I want to see! I want to see! I want to see the race! You are obnoxious, child. So the race at the end of the race! Oh god, I don't actually want to stay that close. Right over here. Ooh. I also think it's really funny that Goron's shield is he just lays down. And most things don't, like, hurt him. Alright, I think it's now about to explode. I can hear it ticking faster, so I'm just gonna sit here and make sure it doesn't blow up on me. That would suck a lot. Come on, any day now! There we go. Way to go, Darby! That was cool! Come on, if we don't hurry, the race will start! Come on, hurry! And he derp runs! Look at him. <laughs> Wonderful. Alrighty. Ah, well, <laughs> it blew me actually down the hill. What the heck? Alright, so now we're going to want to go to the Goron track. Goron race track, whatever. Now, this is one of the more obnoxious parts of the game, uh, personally speaking. Because uh, sometimes this race comes down to luck. 
Turn on here, you ready? I'm ready to go. Me too. Feel a little different. Eh, not me. Well, maybe because I'm inhabiting the body of a Goron and I'm not normally a Goron, but whatever. Talk to me. Alright, fine. I don't even care. What are you doing? This went a weird stretch. This is my day review of the races. Nope. Alright, what's up, kid? Ah, darn me, I've been waiting for you. See, everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter. You're gonna enter, aren't you? You're gonna enter, aren't you? Yep. You have to! I want to show everyone how darn me races. If your magic power runs low, charge up and hit the green jars pretty much like the goat thing. Alright, so, like as, as usual, guys, um, third time's a charm. If I don't get it on the third time, I'll obviously be cutting until I get it. Um, but last time I tried to do this, uh, it took me about three tries, so. Yeah, basically, what you want to do is you're going to want to roll, obviously, uh, through this obstacle course. Um, not really much else aside from that, um, except other Gorons will try to run into you, and if they do that, they'll be bumping you all over the place. Um, you won't take any damage, necessarily, uh, but they're just kind of obnoxious, they just get in the way. Um, other than that, I would not recommend going off the ramps, uh, my, as my dad taught me for, like, motocross and stuff, the more time you spend in the air, the less, uh, good amount of time you're gonna get. Um, and see, look, I've been, I've been running this race pretty much perfectly, and they just always cut in hand in front of me. Uh, at, at the very end, you're gonna end up wanting to bump into, uh, other guys. Um, actually, I think this part right here is a good- Oh, yeah, see? See, that's what I'm talking about. I was about to go up on that second ramp, but the guy just knocked me out. They keep falling off the thing. Whatever. Helps me, at least. I think there's just one more Goron left. Also, if you listen to the music really carefully, you can hear, like, a remix of, uh, Ingo's race theme from, uh, Ocarina of Time. It's really cool. Where's that other Goron? Is he, like, right next to me? I don't see him. Oh well. Wow! And it looks like I did it on my first try! I- you- you- it- wow. Alright. Doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> I just made it look really easy. That was great! I knew you were the fastest score on Darmai! Dar- Dar- Darmai. Darma? <laughs> I was sure you'd get first place. This is from Daddy. It's the prize. Alright, we got a bottle of gold dust, meaning we got two items we actually need. We got our second bottle, and we got gold dust. It's the finest quality available. I'm gonna be just like you! Quick! Like Sonic the Hedgehog! No, just kidding. Alright, but now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna wanna go back to, uh, the smithy. And, uh, talk to him about all this nonsense. Shortly after we said it's the next day. So, I'm actually gonna cut it again. I know I keep cutting a lot, but I'm sorry, but this, this part's a lot of waiting around doing nothing, so... Be right back, guys. Alrighty, now that we're done the second day, um, we're gonna go back inside and talk to the smithies again. Also, I just wanted to make a note, um, I'm doing this exactly as you should be doing it, like, day by day, minute by minute, um, just so you guys know. Like, just in case. I kept you waiting, but it's done, see? And our Kukri sword has been re-strengthened into a forged end of razor sword. This new sharper blade is a cut above the rest, use it up to a hundred times without telling its superior edge. Now keep in mind that after you use this a hundred times, the blade will lose its edge and return to its original sharpness. Now here's a secret, if you bring me gold dust before the sword loses its edge, I'll be able to make the strongest sword around. You got that? Gold dust. Speaking of which, I might just have some cool stuff. Yeah. Oh, customer! Blah, 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 nonsense. Hmm. Hey, now that's a mean joke. Your sword has already been forged into a razor sword. Unless, do I make your sword stronger? To do that, I need gold dust. Do you have any? Well, as a matter of fact, sir, yes, I do have some gold dust for ya. In this bottle here. Why, if it isn't gold dust, and it's even top quality? Why, even if I use it to reforge your sword, there'll still be a little left. Alright, just for you, I'll do this for free, but don't tell anyone. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'll straight up to work. Come back tomorrow morning. Go, go. I love that guy. I don't understand him, but whatever. Alright, again, gotta speed forward time. Sorry about this, guys. Another cut. Alright, done on the final day. Um, one thing I actually forgot to mention, guys, um, now that you beat the Goron Racetrack, um, you can purchase powder kegs, like, on your own, like, you, you can use yourself for a hundred rupees. 
Just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that. Alright, so let's get our new awesome sword! Probably my most favorite sword of the entire Zelda series. The Gilded Sword! It's now Strength and Razor Sword. Newly forged, your sword is better than ever! It will never break! There it is! We can't make a sword stronger than that! No matter how many times you use it, it will never lose its edge. Try it! Oh, I used up most of the gold dust. Just a tiny bit was left, so I got rid of it for you. And these guys are important ever again. So yeah, now we have our amazing gilded sword. This thing's like the size of me, and it's got gold in it. It's so awesome. I wish I had one. And look at the size of our attack radius now. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, I'll go out here right now. Look how big it is. Look how big it is. Watch, I'll clear out this entire patch of grass. One sword swing. Amazing. Alright. Anyway, guys, um, I think that's actually going to be it for this episode. Uh, because we did a lot of cool stuff. Well, actually, I mean, we only did, like, a couple side quests, but still. We got ourselves a battle, and we got ourselves the best sword in the game, in my opinion. Um, alrighty. Until next time, guys, uh, I believe we are going to be going on to a different area. Alright, until then, guys, Butcher51, peace out.